Hi everyone, I'm Jen. I wanted to share a complicated issue. It is with my time traveling friend, John, and I'll put the link below. Um, the first time that I was aware of him, I may have seen him in chat, was how, um, and I've talked about this before, I have revisited live live streams where I'm seeing it live and I come back to the live live stream again. And um, John was one of the people, um, the second one that I, that this happened to was with the butterfly effect, um, known as Empath's Empath now. And Deb was doing a live live stream and there I am on chat and I asked her, was this a re-upload because I'd already seen this one before. And she's answered, she's reading my question, my live question on live chat, on live live stream and she's just like no this isn't this is happening now and her reading my question proved that it was happening now because I had just written it even though it was my second time there whatever I've already talked about this but this is how I John came into awareness because he also said I've already seen this before too and then of course he and I are busy in chat talking because um, he had seen it uh, weeks before and I had seen this one months before so, okay, so that's my friend, my time traveling friend, John. He just did a video and uh, he's like, believe me, it's true. And I totally believe him. He saw a soldier and I cannot remember if it's a current year soldier, but it uh, brings back memories. You know, I, I've talked about people morphing and things morphing in front of me and materializing. And I guess I have more morphings to do because, um, Okay, there are two separate times that I have seen what I believe to be. Um, the second one for sure was a Civil War soldier. The first one um, was too quick and I wasn't into, um, I don't know, it was just too quick and I couldn't process it. it. I thought it was, but I couldn't be for sure. The first one, I'm driving along, had a car full of kids and it was a dark country road and then all of a sudden... There's no, um, you know, sidewalk or anything. It's a country road. And all of a sudden on the side of the road, on the, um, my side of the road, but walking, um, on the grass, um, against the, the traffic, you know, so he's woo going like that. Um, and I see what I think is a civil war soldier. Um, but anyhow, he's in full, um, uh, soldier regalia. So I was so confused and I thought, could this be a um, PTSD uh, regular soldier? And he's, you know, I don't know. I turned around and wanted to help this person that they were lost. Never dreaming, even though I had by that time already seen dead people, just never thought of it. Right. But I, we couldn't find him. So, um, I don't know. That just was the simpler one. The second one happened in the year 2015. That one was at night. Um, this next one happened during the daytime. I'm in my car with my boyfriend and I look at, um, you know, I, I, I'm the one that's driving. So I'm, um, busy watching the, um, you know, it's rush hour, so the car's in front of me, and there's a red light, blah, blah, blah. Traffic was slow, so um, something makes me look at the guy um, that's on the other side of the road. So there's either one or two lanes of cars going the other direction, and there's something about the way he walked. He was wearing today's type of clothing, but, okay, I'm not as, even though I'm in the South now, I didn't grow up here, but... I'll try to do this. His stance, the way he stood was, was not the slouchy way we do it today. Um, and it felt militant, not in uh, the Black Panthers kind of militant, um, closer to... Um, I don't even want to say closer to our, maybe closer to West Point's a militant. My, um, my former husband's, uh, family went to West Point, um, where they're just totally into it versus a, you know, drafted or volunteered, uh, quote, regular, uh, 
get into the armed services a regular way. Okay, so it was his posture, his baseball cap and um, shirt. It could have been a um, either a long sleeve t-shirt sleeve or a uh, sleeve with a collar. I don't know, but um, but he looked too casual to be walking like that. As I was thinking that, he morphed where his today's baseball cap turned into a Civil Wars hat, cap, whatever, and his shirt and pants turned into a uniform right before my eyes. And then it was like um, slowly materializing back to uh, today's person. But the thing is, the person stayed the same. And I, I, so two things, I, I, uh, immediately told my boyfriend and, and <laughs> yes, that's the wanted fugitive boyfriend, which we can talk about another day. I did not know he was <laughs> wanted, but he and I had several connections that were a sixth sense -ish. And if I have not talked about it here before, tell me and I'll do another video on it. But there were so many different six inches stuff. And yes, I have six inches stuff, but I don't have, you know, the spidey senses to know that he is a wanted fugitive. So whatever, right? Whatever. Um, but he, he um, believed me, given our other things that he realized uh, I could experience. And um, all these memories are flashing in, um, uh, examples of this even more weird stuff to share with you. But, um, but he said, he's like, well, maybe he, um, is stuck here because of that. And I didn't know what that was. And it turns out that there's a civil war sign, um, that, but the cars that were next to me were blocking it from my point of view. I don't know if he was at a different, or maybe we also scooted up. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. I had not seen that sign before. And there's a sign talking about some civil war battle at that location. So I don't know why I had to see him in today's clothing. Is he a dead person stuck here? Um, not knowing to leave the battlefield and or is he a spirit, a soul who has died and is reincarnated and living life here. And to continue that thought process, it's very complicated in my mind if I think about it too hard, if I'm trying to filter myself. So I'll just say it. I believe that we are one essence experiencing, expressing our selves through multiple experiences. Now, those of us experiencing the Mandela effect realize that there are worlds that look like this, sort of, maybe not all the way, Marilyn Monroe, maybe not all the way, but similar enough, right? Similar enough. And we've each met our loved ones who are not exactly the same, but kinda. So we know that we are able to live in more than one world, AKA reality on this one earth. Um, when we, I'll say shift sideways, right? So what about that um, second soldier? Like those of us experiencing the Mandela effect. Yes, we wonder if we're dead. <laughs> Go to the light. Um, wow, that actually has a different meaning now. Because I believe the higher vibe we are, the better our um, world or reality can be. So maybe go to the light has a different meaning here. But anyhow, whether I'm alive or not, um, I'm here in a parallel world. And I've been through parallel worlds with parallel loved ones and whatever. But what if this soldier not only experiences parallel worlds sideways unbeknownst to him, most likely, but what if he's the same essence experiencing life 
now with that today's baseball cap and long sleeve shirt the same way that he was experiencing it back then in the Civil War area. Granted, there's not a physical war going, but, um, you know, the experiences seem to change. Hey, baby. <laughs> Look how long that cat is. Don't, tell me. Tell me. First of all, pink. Pink is there. And, and you're so long. Cats were not this long. Look. Cats were not this long. <clears throat> That's my baby. All right, I'm rambling, but yeah, John, I believe you.